Well, good evening, everyone, and happy December. Um, welcome to uh, one of our um, two new member uh, Q&As via Zoom for this month. Uh, my name is Betsy Ko, and I've been a Wikitree member for four years, and I've been doing these sessions for a little over a year. Um, my my own background is as a teacher, um, although um, what my my field is is music. I'm a flutist and uh, uh, was a high school band director for about 15 years. Um, so you know, I've just spent a lot of time thinking about different learning styles and how to break things down for people and and um, most of all wanting to help everybody to be successful with their goals. So um, this is your session um, in that you know that you are all you all are going to steer it um, in terms of uh, the, the the questions that you have and the topics where you want us to spend time. Um, uh, also with me I have Murray Maloney. Murray, you wanna yes. Uh, so uh, we can just each in introduce ourselves where we spend our time on Wikitree. For uh, for me, I'm in um, several geographical projects: uh, England, Canada, Wales, uh, and Scotland project. I, I'm about to join the Global Project, and I'm really excited about that. Um, I help co-lead the um, events committee, and uh, I'm also on the Mentors Project. And I do the Saturday live casts. And yeah, Murray? Sat yeah, Saturday live casts are lots of fun. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm i in, uh, in, in, in a bunch of groups around the East Coast of uh, North America, um, basically Quebec, um, Acadia, and uh, what's called the Puritan Great Migration. So, so I'm looking at all the people who were arriving sort of then. And uh, I'm also part of the... Um, the apps team so i i i help uh, by writing some of the documentation for how to use the wiki free browser extension and uh the fan chart and the uh up and coming super big family tree um and i guess i've been here for about four years um when the pandemic just before the pandemic started i got started here and i was doing ge genealogy before that uh, in other places and uh and i like it here now and um and betsy does this great show twice uh twice in twice in a month yes so there's gonna be another one on sunday and um and they're really great she really touches base with a bunch of people and i hope that you get to, you get to ask your question today uh we'll, we'll we'll dig into them and try and help you on your way and and, and figure out how to use this darn thing <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. There is definitely a steep learning curve for Wikitree. I still remember when I first joined, it it just felt so massive to me. All the all the different little subgroups and all the things you could do and um events happening and and I sort of was paralyzed a little bit at the beginning and then gradually I was able to and you know get braver and ask questions and make lots of notes and and um, I, I agree with Murray. It's uh, a great place to be and a great place to do genealogy. Um, so we do have two uh, two of you who have already graciously volunteered to uh, say, yes, look at my profiles. So we have Alicia and Mona who have volunteered for that. Um, I'm, I'm prepared to create a profile um, from scratch if that would be of interest. Um, and then um, Alicia, was it Alicia? You said you had photos of your, your grandparents. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, sorry, I'm just kind of acting. Can you see me? Uh, yes. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Hi, and I'm actually putting my headphones on. It's a little echoey here, so. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yes, great. So yeah, I know an, another um, common question that people want want to ask is how do I upload a photo? So um, as part of yes, that, yep. So we're going to do that. And what other questions? Just so I can sort of sketch out the agenda for for our our time together. What other questions, Mona? My question is on the connector mm -hmm. um, email that I get quite often. 
Yes. My connections only go through my grandmother's brother-in-law every single time. So none, they're never a full blood relation. And I've asked the question before and the answer I got was upload more information, which I have done on both sides very extensively, but it just, it seems like at the bottom, there's some other things to push. And then they all of, whenever I do that, they say no connections, no connections. So I would like to learn more about that. Right. It all depends on um, your, your family tree, your immediate family tree um, that are connected to you and how they are connected to the overall tree, if that makes sense. So it sounds like you're, what was it? You're somebody's brother. My grandmother's brother-in-law. Okay. He must be. Maybe he is your family's connection to the big tree, um, right now. And so when when it says add more information, really that should be add more of your family and try and connect them into the big tree, and then you will start to see different pathways other than. No. Laura, how far how far back do most of your lines go? Um, I would say 10, 15, 20, very, very far. Mm -hmm. Well, back to the 1600s. Yes. Yeah. Almost almost all of that is US. A few over the pond, but very far back through Jamestown. Mm -hmm. And you're not getting connections? It's literally only through this one person, and it just drives me crazy because I'd like to see more. It um, sounds to me like there's some place on your, there's some place where it's either private or it's blocked somehow. It says it says it's not uh, biological or something like that. There's something that's blocking because if you're going back to Jamestown, you should have hundreds of connections. Mm -hmm. Um. That's so, my question. I'm I'm I don't know how to do that. So yeah. Um well I, I have your profile up. Let's just look at your, your ancestors. Yeah. You're out to your second great grandparents. Mm -hmm. Um so it's through my father's side through uh the Olmstead. Uh-huh. Okay. The Olmstead, like Je Jedediah. Oh. Olmstead. Well, it's through my grandmother's brother-in-law, so it doesn't even go back through my tree. It's going through her sister's husband. Uh, you mean uh, Cora and Alice Townsend? No, Relna oh. James. Uh, okay. Uh, one up more. Yeah. Relna Jane Olmstead. Oh, Relna Jane. Yeah. Her brother-in-law. Hmm. Sister's husband. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So maybe I need to push something that says not private or. Well, if I make her the center. <laughs> so. Hmm. And how many um, how many connections if I go back to your profile, I'm just wondering how many oops, how many connections you have um your your cc7 um which let, let me just i know we have a number of very new members um in our audience tonight um cc7 is your close connections within seven degrees so um your parents would be one degree your grandparents would be two degrees and so on outward um except that it can go sideways as well so, um, you know, when we start talking about marriage, that would add an extra step. So, um, as you can see up at the top, um, these are these are helpful numbers to see your number of contributions, thank yous. And then this is your CC7. Your CC7 is still on the low side. Um, and I think once once you work on expanding that, I would guess you would see um, different pathways. How do I, excuse me, how do I do that? Ah, that is a big, big topic. <laughs> Murray, you want to, you want to start and then I'll chime in? Well, so, so I reached, I reached 1100 this year. 
It took me four years to get to that. Okay. And, and, the, and the, how I managed that was because I have a, a second great grandmother or second great grandparents who were born in Maine. And, and her family goes all the way back to the early 1600s in, in Maine and New Hampshire. Okay, so I get a lot of U.S. connections that way. Now, the rest of my family, you know, goes back to, you know, maybe 1700. And then I, and then I, then all the strings are untied, right? So you don't, you don't see those connections. So, so, so I have tons of connections going through that New England part of my family. Which is like I said, it's, it's my second great grandparents, but but everywhere else, you know, I can't go back to Ireland because there's no records back there, and and Scotland, and I can't go to you know I can't get very far in Macedonia, so so I don't have a lot of connections. I've only got like I said, just just over 1,100 now. So it it takes time to uh, build the generations out, and then one of the things is you get connected with a certain family. So for example, you know, there's like three, because I have all these connections in early New England, there's three or four of those families that are just connected like crazy. And, and you know, everybody in the United States who's anybody in the United States is connected to those people somehow. Right. So does that number 231 means that, that that's the amount of people that I have on my tree? No, no, it's the number of people that you're connected to. Um, so whether, whether, I mean, they are related to you, um, either by blood or by marriage, but you might not necessarily have entered them yourself. They might not be on your watch list. Um, I mean, actually the happiest of situations I think is joining WikiTree and finding one of your ancestors already on there. And that hooks you in because sometimes people join WikiTree and they're just like a floating twig for a while until they find that person who's already on there and they can connect. Well, my tree has been populated by many, many people that I never put on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's do, um, I don't want to get too, too involved in something sort of, uh, complicated, but let's just, I think this would be fun for everybody. If I go in under, yep. Did someone no, say, keep going. okay. Um, I was going to show the six degrees app. Um, is it under three apps? Oh yes, that's right. Okay. Okay. So everybody should have this up at the top of their profile. Um, there you uh, go. CC7 views, is that what you want? Yeah. Has it been? Mm -hmm. I was looking for, uh, well, that's not, I was looking for um, great, great app, six degrees with the, with the circles. Oh, I don't know that one. Oh, okay. Well, this one's scary. Yeah. Um, so this, this will show anyway. This is also um, a, a good view. So the, here it is for you, Mona. Um, and it's showing you your uh, first degree, your, your parents, yes, right? And then second degree and so on. And now when you have purple, that means that there uh, there's a missing person somewhere. Um, parents in this case, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, if it's, I think if it's a, it could be blue or pink for mother or father or purple for both parents are missing. So that could be a place where you, well, let's look at, uh, let's look at James Franklin. So you may know, you may know his parents, but they're not in WikiTree right now. Well, we don't know that they're not in WikiTree. What we well, know is he's true. not connected to them yet. Excellent point. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They may so, be out there. Yeah. Whoops, you're muted, Mona. I'm sure he's on there. So then how do I connect? 
Well, you go about uh, you go about connecting his profile, and then towards the beginning of that whole process, um, you're going to be presented with a list of potential matches that the system thinks, oh, well, you're about to create this guy. Maybe could it be one of these people? And then you should check, and maybe he is already there. So do I just go to my tree and click on his profile? Is that how I connect him? No, what you would do. Okay, so this is your profile. Um, what you would do, um, and I hope that when I create, uh, do a demo of creating a profile, that we'll see this in action. But well, let's would, do that. Yeah. Well, um, I guess the point is, if, if I already have his parents on, or one of those people already on, and they're not connected, then the question is, is how do I do it versus adding somebody from the very beginning? Well, you would have to, you'd have to do this, add father, and then it would walk you through the process of creating a profile. Even if the father was already on my tree. No, well, you no, have to. We're, we're talking across purposes. So let, let's start okay. over. So Mona, so James Franklin Ogden exists. We, we, so he's on your tree. He's connected to you and we know he exists, right? Yes. Now, now we don't, we don't happen to know the name of his parents right at this moment. Right. Okay. And but what, what we're saying is if you can do some digging and find out the names of the parents and then see e either a, his parents are already there somewhere on WikiTree or B he needs to be created. Right. The parents need, need profiles created. Yeah. We need, oh. we made now, I guess what we could do is, do we know the parents' names right now? If we go back to my tree, yes. If not, I can run in and get it. It'd take me two minutes to get it. When you say your tree, do you mean? Like my fan, my, my lineal tree, the one okay. that you originally had with the photographs. Okay, okay. And that's from WikiTree. I'm going to, hang on, I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, you, just, you just showed it a minute ago. Okay. Oh, yeah. If I go to you. And I go to your ancestors. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. And there's James Franklin Ogden. So I guess I haven't put them on there. I, yep, I am they're not there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will do that. Okay. All right. So um, great. Thanks, Murray. Um, how about um if, if this is all right with mona and alicia um i'm gonna i'm gonna do a profile creation demo and and then we'll we'll look at some of your profiles in in action um so what i'm going to do um let's see I'm trying to think the the quickest way to show this to you all right um let's go to my my watch list. Um, by the way, uh, this is a good topic to talk about. Um, you all have a watch list, and that's a list of all the profiles where you are the profile manager or you're on the trusted list for that profile. Um, so this is, you know, sort of your, your near and dear. As you can see, I, I have a pretty small watch list, 344 profiles. Um, they do, um, Wikitree does advise you to keep it under 5,000. So I'm still sleeping easy. Um, when it gets over 5,000, um, it, it really slows down the system. Um, so I am looking for, uh, let's see, is there a way to search your, search your version? There's, there should be. Murray, do you know? Great. Um, sorry, I was on a different channel. Uh, sorry. What's your question? Uh, that's okay. Search within I, here? I'm pretty sure I, I can. Um, you, I probably could just do it with a control F. There we go. Um, I, oh, found, there I found go. her. Okay. So I am going to create Elizabeth uh, Shubnell's father tonight. Um, so first thing I do, um, I well, she, this is an open profile because it's of a certain age. Um, if the person was um, has been dead for 
what is it, uh, for 50 years or born 150 years ago? Uh, born 150 years ago, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, although she doesn't fall, she doesn't fall into that category. So I could, I could lock this down more if I wanted to. Um, but um, yeah, I've made it open. Um, okay, so I go to edit, and I will add her father. Um, now this is um, unless you you have stumbled across an existing profile where you say, ah, this is a match you're going to create and you're going to at least start creating a new profile. So his name, and I have, I sort of did my homework uh, this morning. I have all of the information um, at ready at hand. He was born October 9th, 1868. Uh, certain that was on his death certificate. Um, the best that I can do for a location is Clark, County, uh, Indiana. Uh, his death date was uh, July 8th, 1936. Um, certain. Um, if you're not certain, um, that's certainly an option. For instance, sometimes we have a baptismal or a burial record but not a birth or a death record. So the best we can do in those cases is say, well, when they were born, for instance, they were they they died before they were buried, or they were they were born before they were baptized. Um, or you can make it uncertain. He died in Silver Creek. Township in Clark, Indiana, male. Okay, now in this case, um, there's there there are there's nobody currently on WikiTree where there's you know closeness to the last name, closeness to the dates. But if there were, you would see a list here. Okay, and you could you could compare and you could evaluate and surprise there there he might already be, but not in this case. So I'm going to proceed now. Um, putting in a source, and this is this is required. Um, I'm now going to go to his um, his family search page. Um, as I said, the earliest record that we have is the 1880 census, um, where he's 11. So that's the closest we can get in time. Um, I am going to show you as well how to add an ancestry source. But um, if you can possibly find something on family search or, or another free website where there no paywall, um, the people following following behind you will will say thank you. Um, because not everybody has has a um, ancestry subscription. So if I go to the, I've already examined this and and vetted it what based on what I know of the family that it is the right person. So I'm going to the web record, and then right on the left hand side, you have the citation already done for you. So I'm just going to. Click, it copies to my clipboard, and then I come back over to where I'm creating the profile. I paste it, and um, you can you. It's optional. I can just say um, 1880 census, and then proceed to create. Um, and notice that you will still be in edit mode at this point. So I can add some other details that I have. For instance, I know that his middle name is Seymour. You have to unclick uh, no middle name. Oh, wait. Oh, you can't unclick no middle name. That's you strange. To, you have to change it to certain, I think. Oh. 
There you go. There you Good go. call. Okay. All right. Now, um, his death certificate, which I mentioned to you, um, it confirms his birth date. It confirms his um, his death date and also his mother's maiden name um, is only available on Ancestry. So um, I, I really do want to include that. So now I'm going to go over to the Ancestry page. Um, and now um, we do have a number of extent, browser extensions on Wikitree um, that that make life so much easier. Um, you probably you don't have to hang around long to hear people talking a lot about the Wikitree browser extension. And Murray is our far more an expert in that than I am. Um, we That's kind of a little advanced. Um, we can talk about it um, later if we, we have time and interest. Um, there is one simple extension that I strongly recommend you get. Um, it's called the Sourcer extension. Um, and it's this little one up here in my upper right-hand corner. So if I go to the death certificate, I just go to the to the view, not to the actual record. And then I click on sourcer. Yeah, we can't see your other screen. I don't we don't know what you're doing. Oh, really? No. Huh. Um we're 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 seeing the profile. You're seeing the profile in edit mode? Yeah. Uh, no, no ancestry or anything either. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop sharing and then let me reshare to. Okay. Now do you see ancestry? Great. Okay. Now we see Wicked Free Sorcerer. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. So here we, here we are on ancestry. Um, and the, the what I was talking about is this little one in square brackets. I'm going to click on it. Now it's notice that it has a um, a number of ways for you to search um, with the information that you've entered into your profile on Wikitree already. It just plugs all that in and searches all of these places. But what I want right now is I want to build a site source citation. So it works pretty much instantly. Again, it's saved to my clipboard. So now I'm going to go back. Um, can you now see the Wikitree profile? Uh -oh. No. Uh -oh. Okay. That's pretty annoying that I have to keep, <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Um, there we go. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, now I'm back on Henry's profile. I'm in edit mode. Um, and let me point out one simple thing, um, which is involves wiki markup, uh, wiki markup code. Um, and so you see this asterisk, which is in front of my uh, 1880 census record. Um, when I come out of edit mode, that's going to create a nice little bullet point. It's just, it's nice for aesthetics. So now I'm going to paste that in. Um, and, and notice that Sorcerer already took care of giving me the asterisk. And um, let's come, let's come out and see what that looks like. Well, you actually you also sh can and should use the preview mode. So here you can see um, very base. He needs a bio, um, but there are my sources. Um, so anyone who clicks on this, even if they don't have an Ancestry subscription, they'll at least see a tiny version of uh, the Ancestry uh, document. And uh, I think some people do a workaround of the, they take a screenshot of it and then they can, they can blow it up. So that's one little workaround. Um, oh, no, you so, need to unmute. 
What? I think Mona has her hand up and she oh. needs to unmute. Okay. Yes, Mona, go ahead. Where did you get that number one? Is that something that you downloaded through Wikitree? And does it only connect to Ancestry? No, no. Um, actually, Murray, could you could you put up the, the, the help page for Sorcerer? I will find the URL and I'll put that in the chat. Yep, yep. So we have a... Um, uh, a help page that will walk you completely from from how to get the extension to how to use it. Um, and there's also a really good YouTube video by the developer of the app, um, Rob Paby. So thank you, Marie. Do you pay uh, for that or no. is it? Well, Sorcerer, I believe is either free or there's a very small charge. Um, that has to do with whether you have an Apple product or not. Yeah. Um, Alicia, you had your hand up? Uh, yes, I have a question. This actually might actually come up um, when um, it's my turn to work on my thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, you mentioned um, in creating this profile that you went back to someone who had been, um, uh, had died 50 years ago. So, um, what is the policy in choosing to make a profile? Because I, I have someone on my on my page who made a profile for a relative who died. Um, when did my grandmother die? Eight years ago, mm -hmm. um, and from what I could tell, they are not related to me in any way, shape, or form. So um, that's yes. and that's what I want to talk about actually. Uh, in doing my profile, any of the photos. So that's that's something I'm curious about. Yeah, good question. Let me um, let me just get out of this, and then I will show. Oh, everybody. of course. The privacy yeah, yeah. levels, which is a good topic for conversation. So uh, the system won't allow you to exit edit mode until you say what you did. So I added sources and that's sufficient. Um, so there, there we have the profile. Now over here is privacy levels. Um, so we have, and there's a nice little graphic with all the different um, levels. Um, my point that I was making was strictly speaking, given um, Elizabeth's dates, um, Henry's daughter, um, I actually could have made her profile somewhat restricted because um, she hasn't been dead. She's been dead for 27 years as opposed to 50 or, or 100. So, um, but you have these different, yeah. Okay. Um, you have these different levels, which um, now here's where a lot of active users are going to be. Um, if you really are in the Wikitree community to do collaborative genealogy, um, we strongly rec recommend that you make your family tree public because otherwise you won't show up in connection maps. Um, there will be no way for people to see how they relate to you. Um, and so um, each of these you can, you can um, click on and get a slightly more detailed um, description. Um, unlisted, now unlisted is required, like say, say I add my cousin, um, but they, my cousin is not a member of Wikitree, then they are automatically going to be unlisted. So I'll see them in my family tree so that my tree will be complete to my view, but no one else will be able to see them. Does that help, Alicia? Yes, I guess um, kind of in the same vein. Um, Again, this person, like I said, they're not related to me at all. What's to stop them all of a sudden making my grandmother's profile private? Um, is so this the person who's not related to you is the profile manager? Yes. Yeah. Um, I I would reach out to them and okay. and and explain that, well, this is my grandmother. Could I be on the trusted list? Or could you be a co-profile manager? Okay. Um, I think that's a very reasonable request. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, before we move on to um, Alicia's profiles, does anyone have questions on what I showed with the profile creation? I, I do have one, and this is kind of yeah. a problem I've run into. Um, I have a grandmother who 
when I went to enter her father, um, there was a father already on there, but they've entered a different mother for her from what I know. Um, mm. So I've kind of, I, I haven't joined the father to my grandmother because I'm like, I think I don't understand WikiTree yet, but I don't want that other mother to come in and I don't want to change somebody else's tree if they think they have the right information and I think I have the right information. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Well, then what uh, the you you got it? You have to get with the other profile manager, and and you know explain it the way you just did to me, um, and then the sources are the ultimate decider. Um, you know you have you have some records, I'm sure, and um, there hopefully there should be some sources listed on that profile and see if the relationships can be untangled and resolved. So if if they're not uh, agreeable to even speak or, or communicate, mm -hmm. uh, is it possible for me to go ahead and create another grandfather would be the same one um, and then add my own great grandfather and then add my own great grandmother? Uh, uh, no, we don't, we don't want to create duplicate profiles. Um, I, I would first, hey, you haven't tried to reach out? No, because I that's why I'm here because I wasn't sure what okay. to do about it. Yeah, I just Re long. Yeah, you should reach out. Um, I mean, the nature of WikiTree is to have collaboration, and you know, someone who just doesn't want to collaborate all, at all is it's going to have a hard time existing in the community um, because we all do connect. Um, so I would try that first. And um, are there are there sources on the other on the profile? The, I the actually well I I'm as I say I'm brand new so I don't even know how to find that anymore. Oh, how to find the one I looked at? Um, but I'll go back and look and see if they have sources. Okay, but, um, Linda, what's what's your WikiTree ID? Oh, my ID. Yeah. Can I give you the ID of my great grandmother? Because I didn't write sure, one down. Sure, that's know. fine. Yep. Okay, it's Bell 43744. That's the person I'm talking about. Bell is in ring the bell? Yeah, B-E-L-L -L okay. 43744. 43744? Yeah. Okay, all right, I'll have a look at that. And um, that, and you're you're the profile manager of that, right? Of yes, that. of her, yeah. Right. So I can get to you that way. Um, yeah. It actually, it did come up conversation with somebody, I can't remember who now, um, how to send a private message. So this is related to what I was just encouraging Linda to do. So on any profile, you want to look at this um, green and yellow box. So we can see if someone comes along and says, um, Henry died on, on June 8th, not July 8th, and, and they want to change that. Um, they can First of all, see that I'm the profile manager and they can send me a private message. Um, alternatively, if it's something that's not sensitive, they can um, come down here and post a comment on the profile um, and the profile manager will also be notified. Either way, you'll get something via email. So they can't just go in and change it? They can, but it's... We discourage, we, we like people to communicate. Okay. They can, uh, but um, especially if there's, if there's an existing profile manager, um, it's not the greatest man wiki tree manners to just go right. in when there's an active profile manager and, and make changes. Yeah. Yeah. So, now, okay. Once um, you, you know, once you get going yeah. on wiki tree, once you've been around for a couple of years, and you're you're doing your stuff and you're 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 going in and you're adding sources let's say you know there's a few profiles you've been watching and you found some sources people are always happy to have new sources added it it, it gives us more more ammunition more proof of who that person was right right okay yeah, good point. Good point. Um, yeah, I would have no if I happen to come across a, you know, a death certificate. I, I, I know any profile manager would be happy to have that. Um, you know, so we're really talking about the kind of changes, like about, you know, 
um, changing relationships or, you know, yeah. just, yeah, that, that you need to trade a little more carefully, but yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alicia, you want to, you ready to look at your profiles? Yes. Um, so I know we ha you have my grandfather, um, Lengu Wendell. Is it Lengu? Lengu Wood is Lengu Wendell up. Um, my grandfather's, there was the Wood and Wendell. Um, I actually don't have a picture of him. Uh, my mother has the picture. So I, I did want actually want to use, if we can, my grandmother Rose, Rosa. Um, okay. We call her Grandma Rose. And, and uh, because I have some interesting. Can oh, everybody can you hear me? Can you see um, I'm on on your grandfather's profile? Is yes. That Okay. Yes, that's Lengi Wood. Um, I was wondering if we could use uh, my grandmother, uh, Rosa um, Elizabeth Brown, because uh, I have oh. her picture, and then she's also really interesting um, in the information that we've kind of actually discovered in the last few days, um, so that okay. actually can be something interesting to kind of talk about, if that's okay. Of course. Okay. So I'm going to make you a co-host, Alicia. I'm going to stop sharing because I think in light of um, you putting up a photo, I'll, I'll talk you through it, but it'll be a okay. lot easier if, if you do it yourself. Of course. Yeah. So, okay. You should be all set. Okay, great. Let me go to share screen, share content. Okay. There we go. Uh, share screen and start. Okay. Okay, so I'm sharing this from my iPad. Let me go down here. Um, so yeah, I was using, so that's the person who was actually, so this is my grandmother, Rose. Yep. Um, so images, I wanted to share a picture. So there's right. no picture of her just yet. So Rosa, right. I call her Rose, but uh, yep. Rosa was her actually legal name. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to upload a picture of her, so I would go here uh, to click to upload it, correct? Yes, click here to upload it, right. Okay. All right, and then choose file. Right. I go from my photo library right now because that's the easiest place right now. So this is a picture of her, and I believe it's my grandfather, um, uh, my mother's it. side. Yeah. So we'll do that. So, but I do see here. So I I do have the choice of uploading something from a file. Uh -huh. So this is interesting. Uh, where we got the source? Oh, it's from Family Connection. So yeah. So you can just say scanned from Family Photo Collection. It's my standard line. Okay, so, so, so I would want to say a Rosa, if I were putting this in here, would I want to say her legal name or her, she went by Rose. So would um, that be the yeah, best way? No, it's it's fine because it's going to be a link to her profile, which says Rosa. So you can feel free to use her her the name that uh, she went by that you you yeah. called her by. Um, you know, if you want to, uh, and I'm going to show how you can link it to um, the other person in the photo as well. Okay. And the text that okay. you enter here, hardly anyone will ever look at. Okay. By the way. <laughs> okay, I'm just let's say Grandma Rose and Granddaddy Oscar. Um, I can type today. <laughs> it's hard oh, to type it's terrible when there's 20 people watching you. It's yeah, funny. yeah. <laughs> You're doing great. Thank you. This is my thing. I've been doing this with my um, let's see, item source. Okay, I'll just say upload. I've been doing this with my, my mother, and so she lives in Pennsylvania. So we've been going back and forth. She's been emailing me things. So okay, really? so I'll go back through once I talk to my mother and actually get the date and location. I believe this is yeah. potentially St. Louis, but I'll get that information from her later. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. You can always go back and edit. Mm -hmm. Scroll down a bit. Mm -hmm. You scroll down a little now keep going mm -hmm. so you see there you can set that as primary photo okay now so you may add other photos and you may decide you don't want this one to be the primary one you want a different one to be the primary one okay. or you might want to right now it's got rosa on there but what do you want to add granddaddy uh yes is he in your watch is he in that list down there he was he down there in the keep keep scrolling down mm. 
well, that's strange because he was on there. In fact, he was the yeah. first one on there. That's how I found the sites because he came up. Oh. Um, well, that is very strange. Um, do you know his WikiTree ID? Not off the top of my head. Okay. Yeah, you, so, can come, you can come back and add him, though. Right. Yeah. And that way, it'll show up as an image on his profile as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So should I just save this right now? Yep. Okay. Okay. Now so you click, click on her link, Rosa, and you're back to her. Yep. And let's just okay. see there. Yeah, because there he is, right there. Wife, wife, Oscar Edward Jewell. Okay. Um, yeah. So all you have to do is get his ID number, and then you can connect him to the photo as well. Okay. Yeah. So this is very strange this person. So the interesting thing here is when I was going through and editing her site. Um, Born date and location date. Again, this person, um, Daniel um, Dixon, they're the one who created the profile. Very strange. I'm not sure why, because they don't, I don't even know if they know us or they're not related to us at all. Um, so I was going through and I was editing it and I was going to enter my grandmother's um, birth date and all that in. Yeah. And I recently unearthed what seems to be her actual birth certificate. There's a long thing. Her Her mother... She uh, she didn't know, she couldn't find her birth certificate. Uh, she was born in 1917 in Virginia. Um, her She was born out of wedlock. Um, her mother was an orphan. There was a very big thing. She has been trying, had been trying to find her birth certificate for many, 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 many years. Um, she died at the age of 98. And just by sheer chance, I found it. Um, that we're verifying it, it was under the wrong name. So I do want to enter her, what we have as her current birth date in here. Uh -huh. And until so we completely verify that it's the, 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 um, until we verify that this is the right birth certificate, I'm 99.9% .9 it is sure about this. So as I'm putting in the, uh, the birth, birth date that she know or she knew was her birth date, what is the, you know, <laughs> Kind of what is the policy or what would you suggest doing afterwards? Um, well, it sounds like this would be a, a place for research, a research note. Yes. Uh, so if you, can you scroll down a little bit? Yes. Uh, and I should say, I mentioned this. I literally found this out this week. My mother and I know we haven't told her sister or anyone else yet. So, but uh, I figured as yeah. this is happening, I, I want to put this in after we've told my aunt and everyone else, but, mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah. Um, not that, that far. I actually sort of need middle, middle of the edit box, uh, okay. it says biography and sources and okay. okay. Yeah. Yep, right there. There. Okay. So you can see that, um, we have biography with the double equal signs and sources with the double equal signs and those double equal signs. Again, they're a bit of markup code, which mm -hmm. makes, makes whatever's the text inside of them um, bigger and bold. Yes. So what you would do is you would under, she passed away in 2016, you would add double equal signs, research notes, double equal signs. Okay. And then you would type in what you've explained, the, you know, the, the, the uncertainty with, you know, that it was, had been difficult finding the birth certificate because it had been filed under a different name, you know, just to, to give context. Mm -hmm. And um, because it's so um, specific to um, your knowledge of the situation, you would want to sign off on it. Okay. And when you do that, um, Murray, would you put four tildes in the, in the chat? So yes. people can see the tilde is the little horizontal curvy line. Yeah. And if you put you, you write in whatever your explanation is and then put four tildes and then you come out of edit mode and it will say, give your name, your wiki tree ID and the date. It's like okay. a digital signature. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's that's how I'd handle it. I'm I'm curious. Um, could we could we go out of out of edit mode? Uh, to profile. Yeah, return to profile. Mm -hmm. Now, could we go to the changes? Last track change. Uh, so keep going over to the 
uh, edit images, tree app changes? Uh, boy, I'm completely losing that. Uh, less track change. Uh, Move to the right. Yep. Oh, I'm I'm on the iPad, so I can't even. Um, oh, okay. Oh, do, do you see how Rosa Brown Jewel's profile is in yellow? And next yes, we have edit images, tree apps. Ah, uh, changes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So it just gives you it just gives you some you know some context. So the, who the person who created um, your grandmother's profile? It well it was three years ago. It could have been through through one of the wiki tree thons or challenges, mm -hmm. or the goal was to just add connections. <laughs> Click um, on his name. Yeah. So he signed up in 2015. Yep. And, and let's see. Doesn't say what he did last, so let's go look at his ninety-eight fifty-five contribution. You see that? Well, he he got the thousand connections badge in um, just two days ago. Oh, well, okay. So he's ago. busy. He's a busy guy. He's active. He's active. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would reach out. I mean, whatever his motivation for creating the profile, um, he hasn't done anything with it. I mean, of course, there's a lot more to add. So, um. Some, sometimes people do create profiles through challenges and marathons, um, and they should orphan them, but they don't. So, okay. so I can ask him if he orphans it, then I can then take over? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And, oh, I see that there are two profile managers. Oh, no, that's for him. That's for his profile. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um, what other questions? I'm going to stop my share. That, thank you. This has been okay. very good for me. Thank you. Of I have so many other questions, but I don't want to monopolize uh, this uh, this session here. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, it is five of eight. Um, like I said, we keep the lights on, you know, <laughs> we're, we're not going to just disconnect in five minutes. But um, what questions do other people have? that they brought or that have arisen in as we've talked. Chris Butler, you've been holding something in this whole time. I know it. There's something there that you want to ask. <laughs> okay. Well, I am new to Wikitree. I have not put anything on before, but I've done some things on ancestry. So mm -hmm. I'm a little bit familiar with genealogy. What I'm interested in doing is creating a family tree where I then can print something off to distribute to family members. And I'm wondering what kind of format or charts or what, what kind of um, format is information printed off once you put it in Wikitree? That's a great question. So it turns out that on Wikitree, there's a lot of different ways to visualize your tree. Now, you've probably already seen that, that that from your own profile or from somebody else's profile, you've got the the ancestors and descendants button. And you can just press that ancestors button and you can see, you know, you can see your, your pedigree going back, right? There's also apps uh, under the tree apps. So one of them, for example, is Fanchart. Have you tried that yet? I have not, but I'm familiar with the fan chart. Okay. What I'm okay. interested in doing is I would be starting with my great grandparents, going to all of their 15 children, and then all of their descendants from there. So it it would be quite a few names. I don't really want it in a fan chart. You want, but... you want a descendant tree. And Pardon you want, me? You want a descendant tree. You, you, a fan chart a fan chart chart looks up right it looks at your your parents and your grandparents and your great grandparents yes but you're talking about looking looking downward you're talking about looking yes. at descendants right yes correct and as as luck would have it fresh off the presses i'm not kidding uh greg clark has been working on this really cool program that's it's currently called the 
a super big family tree. And what it will do is you, you, uh, it centers on one person. So you, you, you know, you're going to pick a great grandparent or somebody like that. And, uh, and then it'll, it'll show a tree going up seven generations and going down seven generations. Okay. Now, this this is really fresh. I mean, I'm working on documentation. Greg is coding. I'm taking screenshots every day to replace old screenshots because he's made a change. It's it's evolving. But, it's still in testing mode. It's yeah. it's on the menu. That's true too. It it is only in testing mode. You have to go to the special server, but we've got a link to it. You, you can get to the special server, so that's okay. Yeah. Um, and then there are other tools also, other apps where you can visualize and you can print from. And one of the cool things that Greg is trying, trying to do is get it so that you can print it not only from your home laser printer, if you have one, you know, you can, you can print it on a single page or you could scale it out. So you print it on nine pages and you tape it up on the wall or you could scale it up so that it goes to a web offset press. And you take it to a company and have them print it in a really large size. So that's not quite ready yet, but we're hoping that that's coming down the pike. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I, most people in the family are not going to want a big chart on their wall, but what they would like to have, um, and what we have, what some of the other relatives have done back in Finland, have done uh, a family chart where they'll where they'll take an ancestor and then the next table will go to their first child and their children and their grandchildren. Then it'll go to the second child. So it's maybe in columns or pages. Yeah. Is there something like that available or is that what this will be? Uh, I, I think I know what you're describing. And I've seen that before. Um, I, 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 there's probably one of the oh. apps uh, that does that, that the, the divide up a tree like that. But I'm not sure off the top of my head. But let, let me let me think about that. Are you going to be back on Sunday? Uh, I'm not sure. I I could be. Okay. <laughs> or Chris, could we could we take your um, wiki tree ID and we'll send you a message? Yeah, that's it. There's it. There's yeah. I just signed up earlier, so I'm not even sure what my ID is. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna search you. I should be okay. able to pull you up just by searching your name and knowing okay. that you signed up within the last day or two. Okay. Yeah, and there. it did ask for uh, birth name for last name. So I don't know if you still have me under Chris Butler or if it's under my maiden name. Hmm. Okay. Um, maiden name probably. Yeah. You, that's generally the, the, yeah. Should be on your your ID would be your maiden name and then a number, yeah. Um, but I should be able to find you with Chris Butler. Um, Thanks. You're welcome. Um, uh, Don and Kathy asked about um, the WikiTree coding and the hypertext, um, and so I put in the chat a link to a cheat sheet that I put together over um, my early time at Wikitree, just useful, useful bits of information. Um, you know, uh, that for instance, that the bullets, uh, the, you get bullet points by doing asterisks, or if you want to do a numbered list, you do pound signs, um, little, little things like that. Um, so it's a, it's a good, it's just how my brain works, but it, hopefully it's a good starting place for you. So, uh, so the important thing is to type words, get sentences written. Mm -hmm. And the second important thing is to look at somebody else's page that you see looks nice and go and look inside and see how, how they did it. Yeah. I mean, if, it, if it's an open profile, then you can just go into edit mode and, and look at the code. So, um, or you can ask somebody. I mean, you know, you can ask somebody in G2G or you can reach out to me. Um, my profile ID is CO31 and I'm always very happy to help. Um, would Don and Kathy, did that answer? Was that your only question? Yep. 
Okay. Um, Mary Jean. Uh, you've got to unmute Mute myself. I realized I went on this a long time ago and then I put, you know, part of my family known in, but I never did the citing stuff. I guess I didn't realize how to do that. Um, and then I was watching you and I, I still don't know how to do it. If you had some drop down box that went to ancestry and all that, but I didn't, I didn't, I, when I come to my own profile thing, I don't know where you got that. It says edit da data, edit family. I'm, I'm not sure where, oh, I where, where, where are you right now? Page you? Like myself. You're on your own page. What's your profile ID? I think the battery just ran out. I don't know. Is it the Mulhern 350? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. It's Is it M U L H E R N? 350. 350. All right. Let's have a look. Um, share, share screen. Okay, and we'll go to um, have where does the thing happen that you had a drop down and yeah, the, so I think um, was that when I was adding the death certificate that I found? Yeah, out? right. Oh, so I mean, yeah. I know those. I have those things. Um, so for I mean, that, you have to get the Sorcerer app. Oh, that's why I'm not getting it. I don't the, have the, the little one. You see, I'm I'm circling. Around it. How do I get that? I, um, I posted so, the link. Oh, yep. Oh, okay. Look in the chat. Yeah, okay. Right. Okay. Do we do we need to look at your now your own profile? You don't need to put sources on your own profile. Oh, okay. You're an active member, and so you can just say firsthand oh. knowledge entered by. Um, is it under Murray? Is it? Oh, yes, yeah, sorcerer. Okay, so then if I do that, then I can read up. So if you follow that link, that'll take you to a yeah. page that describes the sorcerer. Okay. And, and from there, it gives you directions on how to how to find it for your. Uh, for your operating system in your browser. Okay. And then you need to get it onto your computer. And once you've got it all installed, then it'll do everything for you. Uh, okay. Really, thank you. Really mm -hmm. one of the best tools ever made. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. It's thank you much. Okay. All right. Um, so I, I really hope that we didn't, you know, leave anyone um, confused. If we did, please reach out to me and, um, you know, ask me more questions. And um, thanks uh, for doing this. Of course. Yes, Chris. Betsy, I think I did find my ID number, if that would be helpful. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, it's Hendrickson, H-E-N-D-R-I-C-K-S-O-N. Two eight three five. Okay, got it. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right. Well, um, yeah. If there are no other questions, I think we'll say good night for now. So, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank this is wonderful. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You both. Thank you. Night.